<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Something's in the air. Let's see what's going on. My Mommy! Let's see what's going on. Coming! Hey, Maya. Like I said, I don't know what's going on, what's in the air, but my daughter is in a bad mood. <laughs> and not just any bad mood, a bad mood that reminds me of my bad mood. So when I tell you I can't stop laughing, I'm not laughing at her, I'm laughing because I truly don't know how to handle this. I truly don't know what to say when she's feeling like this and it makes me feel so worthless. That's why I have to work on myself because like I said, there is something inside of me that is trying to stop me from becoming the woman that I need to be to grow. And there's something inside of her. I know this. I know this sadness. I know that the things she's saying, she's not just saying them for no reason. She's saying these things because she truly feels like this. And if I'm capable of making my child feel like this then I have a lot of work to do <laughs> and I don't know where to start I don't know what to say and that sucks for me because this is my child this is me in a way like I can't just deal with her how people dealt with me because if I do that I know what I'm gonna give like I know what she's gonna give the world and it's gonna be nothing good nothing that I would be proud of her giving the world and I'm scared I'm scared that if I don't do this like if I fail like She doesn't stand a chance. If I don't become this woman, she doesn't stand a chance. Like, y'all gotta hear me when I tell y'all, like, she is just saying, like, everybody bullies her. Nobody loves her. She's alone. Saying the same things I was saying earlier. So, when I tell you, like, there is something on my family that is trying to keep us from becoming great women. I mean that. And I'm scared. That's why I'm always praying and always just being humble in situations because I just, I, I don't have control of anything that's going on in this life and I'm scared. <laughs> have to fix myself right I'm in here making a video and I should be out there consoling her but I don't know what to say I don't know like it's hard being a mother is hard it really is one of the hardest things I think I'll ever do in my entire life and I'm scared all the time I'm scared that me I'm the one that's going to be capable of fucking her up. It's in me. Like, when I say it's in me, like, it's in me. Like, I could be not shit. But I can't do that to her because she's me. And if I do that to her, then that confirms to me, not me, this version of me, like, what's inside of me that I was right. There is nobody out there that loves me. She feels like this. My eight-year-old daughter feels like no one loves her. I was trying to give her a kiss. She said, my kisses don't even make her happy anymore. What do I do? 
how do I keep going if what I'm doing for my kids ain't even enough? Life is hard. Life is so hard. <laughs> but, you know, I'm walking with God, so there's something I need to learn from this. Because, like, this isn't even, like, the beginning of it. Like, it started with just, like, her doubting herself. So, she was saying that my friend Tony says that, said that he wanted to be alone. I don't know, that really just messed with her in a way that left her questioning herself. I don't know what to say. I just know that I'm scared. A moment of silence is definitely needed in a moment like this because I definitely, definitely need the Lord to just speak to me. Tell me what to do. <laughs> what next? Like, what do I say? What do I say to this little girl <laughs> who believes? Her own mother's kisses aren't even enough to make her happy. She doesn't even know what's wrong with her. I'm scared for my child. <laughs> there are no tears. It's just pure scared. I don't know what is to become of this world. But I really truly don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. It's bad. Like, I'm not even the type of person that sits and watches the news. Like, I'm not. Like, I don't watch the news. I think it's a very depressing situation that they have going on. Like, I don't mess with the news. Like, I'm so disconnected from the world that it don't make sense. But because if I was to sit and watch the news, I don't even think I would be strong enough to leave my house because that means that I would have to deal with like the reality of people are losing hope and there's like, like as much people as we think are out here praising God and going with him going to church doing the right thing that's not enough clearly it's not enough the news is proof <laughs> that more needs to be done and i'm scared for our children <laughs> the world we grew up in was like it wasn't good but it wasn't like this it's getting worse And in this video with a moment of silence because honestly like I just hate that the Lord even puts things on me puts me in situations that brings me in front of this camera and cry like why do I have to be the one on social media crying why <laughs> I'm just scared I'm gonna keep praying Keep my mind open. Do what I have to do. To just keep going. Moment of silence. And we're starting now with us. Bye guys, until my next video. Oh. <laughs>